Welcome to One Million Cups, Virginia Beach. It's practice for entrepreneurs or uh, Shark Tank without the bite. Uh, we're, here, we're here to um, provide an opportunity for people to practice their pitches, and we're sponsored by the Kauffman Foundation in Kansas City, Missouri. So is anyone here for the first time? Well, we, we like to keep track of people. Well, not keep track really for you, it's just an opportunity if you, if you sign up for our emails and you can make sure you know what's, who's coming next week. And it's always good thing to see what's happening in Hampton Roads, new businesses. So, um, what, what, what do we have happening this week? All right, start All right. making your list. Let me real quick, run down through this. It's, it's, and if you need to get some information on the links, get hold of me. April 15th is the deadline for the abstracts for the Native Innovation Challenge, which is being held in Paris this year. And the fall will be in Berkeley, it'll be in Berlin, in Germany. If you have an idea for data, gathering, putting together, analyzing sensors and all that, 450 words will get you into the game. That's all it is, the abstracts. But that's due on the 15th of April coming up. Uh, we will have coming up an unwind the end of this month, and we will have a special guest group from Sister Cities. Ukrainian delegation will be at the at Gershwin's is the the coming up. A seven, uh, 757 pitches May 15th at the Percolator. Uh, yes, yeah. there will be uh, doing a fun, that'll be a fun event. But there are a variety of different competitions, and I guess uh, you also at the at the Strom Centers are having the the first one challenge is coming up. Yeah, we got that. The Expo is coming up. Uh, the Engineering Expo is coming. The up. The Engineering I heard this yesterday is on Tuesday, April. That number be. Well, I'll tell you, we have so much going on. But the, the First Look Challenge is Monday, I think it's April 23rd at 5.30. You guys are probably going to get your email this afternoon to invite you to judge that event. And so that's always a lot of fun. If you're not on that list, I'll make sure that, that we get you on that What's list. But, uh, We're in the process. No, it's, it's, it's on a Monday, um, uh, May 20, uh, April uh, 23rd, I think. So at 5.30, and uh, I believe it's going to be at the Web Center. We keep and moving it every semester, so you can eat And the only last thing I have is we're helping to form a sewing and fashion design micro cluster. We, uh, we'll be, we're putting there, I will be putting out a general call. We've got Hamilton Perkins involved, a variety of people from the Stromer Center, our Lion's Lair will be you, Lion's Lair, she's in on it. But what we're looking at, we have found people that are into fashion design and sewing. There's enough of them that we feel that you could set a cluster that could come together. That means it'd be a group that works together to help uh, benefit that industry, to help promote it. And also, they're looking for uh, opportunities maybe to set up a, uh, a, a place where you could actually get projects sewed. Because most of the designers are doing both. So they like to subcontract that capability out. So we're putting the microcluster and the Norfolk Economic uh, Development is involved to help us put that. So if you know anybody that's in, interested in sewing or fashion design, let me know. Awesome. A lot of things happen in these days. So today we have a, 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 an amazing presentation from Jerry Shealy with Clean Your Feet. And um, give you the floor. If you're ready. Uh, Come hey. on down. Thank you very much, One Million Cups. My name is Jerry L. Shealy from Clean Your Feet. My assistant over here, my boss, my partner over here, Wendy, is in the house. How are you guys doing today? Good. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Um, 300,000 people a year suffer shower falls. 300,000 people a year suffer shower falls. 600 people a year a day, 600 people each day go to the emergency room for falling in the shower. One person every day dies, dies from a shower fall. To this day, I have a problem myself. It's where it all started. When I take a shower, I gotta lean against the wall, brace myself for dear life, find the soap, lather my hands. Take one foot, put it over one knee, get that foot all soapy. Take this finger, which I've been using all my life as a brush, but guess what, it's not a brush, it's a finger. Between my toes, doesn't work, right? So I did that one time, and I put that foot down, and lifted the other foot up, but I was rushing and I forgot how slippery this foot was. Long story short, the drywall folks came out on Tuesday, <laughs> and the glass enclosure folks came out on Wednesday. I suffered a shower fall. And I said, there's got to be a better way for me to take a shower without risking breaking my neck every day. So, my solution to this problem is the clean your feet device. 
was born. This device, no more falling, straining, slipping. Look at my, look at my assistant, yeah, she's really great, right? The cleaning feet device developed a solution to the risk of falling in the shower. People fall in the shower every day. I hear so many stories every day as I Uber around the country, <laughs> doing my elevator pitch to folks. And you know, so this device exists for everyone who takes a shower. Everyone, a device that will clean the most neglected part of the human body, in between the toes. Most men I ask, how do you clean your feet in the shower? They say, well, I didn't know it was a requirement. <laughs> when that shower water runs down my body, my feet are done. <laughs> we solve so many problems with this device that every time I ask someone about it, they say, you know what, I got that problem. Right? We help in the fight against athletes' feet. We help in the fight against diabetes, bromidosis, hyperhidrosis, weight restrictions, height restrictions. We help in all these fights. These are fights people are having every day. Procrastination. Right? We help reduce circulation. We help. We solve a lot of problems with this device. My mom, 80 years old, she's like, where's my device? I'm tired of waiting on you, son. Where's my device? This device will solve a major problem in the world with us because every day, my wife and I, we're breaking our necks. I gotta go to work. You know, I got a team of injured individuals who we work with every day who are injured. Police officers, nurses, doctors, old ladies, pregnant women. Old ladies, sorry guys, elderly women. <laughs> you know, these people I talk to injured, injuries all the time, every day, from falling in the shower. It's very, very dangerous in the shower. A woman told me recently that she showers her hair every day and she uses a lot of shampoos and oils. Leaves her shower floor like an ice skating rink. Her daughter coming after her, if it's not cleaned properly, the daughter injures herself. After you use the clean the feet device, you will once again realize that your feet are alive. They are alive. And that toe jam in between your toes, it's got to come out. But we can do it now. You come in the shower now. Look, Mom, no hands. The heel, the bottom of the foot, and in between the toes. The most neglected part of the human body. The cleaning feet device will be everywhere. And I mean everywhere. And they always say, hey, this invention can't be everywhere. No invention can be everywhere. This invention, everywhere. If there's a shower, everywhere. Athletes feet. LeBron James, my favorite basketball player, seven foot tall, how does he clean his feet? He doesn't, he got a post interview, hop in the shower, $10,000 outfit on, $5,000 shoes and stinky feet. <laughs> stinky feet. No seven footer is bending down in the shower, they need this device. Baseball, football, every gymnasium, I go to the YMCA and I try to take a shower, the, the, the handicap bar down by my knee. I'm like this, dangerous. Health spas, rec centers, karate schools, boxing, wherever people are taking showers, our device is needed. The clean your feet device will be everywhere. and It'll solve so many real problems in the world for people who, who, or who are injured. Elderly folks, New York City, 40 million itty bitty spaces, itty bitty showers with nowhere to bend over. Heaven Road has 1.3 million people. We're gonna have this device in everyone's hands. We want to let everybody get a chance to enjoy this opportunity because everyone who has feet, feet needs this device. Limited mobility. There are millions of people who don't even go in the shower anymore. I got one minute left, or is my one minute up? One minute left. One minute, we're <laughs> just getting started. The clean your feet device. No more falling, straining, bending, slipping in the shower anymore. It's over. Welcome. Welcome to the world. The solution to these millions Millions of problems that people are suffering every day, the clean your feet device. Thank you very much. <laughs> Questions? Let's see it. Let's see it? We got a video. Well, we, we don't have the video. We don't have the devices yet. We're in manufacturing in China. In about two weeks, I will touch my first completed sample of the device. And if it is satisfactory on all issues, then we go to manufacturing, our first 5,000 units, then we're delivered to the Clearwater, Florida, the Home Shopping Network's headquarters. And I will be on the show the following morning saying this to, uh, to the world, hey everybody, as I introduce to them the Clean Your Feet device. So you have, you're already set up for that? Yes sir. What we need is money. 
We need a strategic partner to help us take this device around the world. That's all we need. Well, you got to ask that in your pitch. I just asked. <laughs> just asked. We need money. Yes, sir. And I see what he's getting at. You've got a great, very passionate uh, selling pitch to the general consumer. You know, I like that. Yes, sir. I really like it. A lot of energy. Thanks, sir. Sometimes we have to kind of you know, get people to say you're low energy. You're not. Thank you. Right Thank you. Uh, Thank you, sir. And very passionate telling your great story. Thank you very much. Right. But if you're talking to a group of investors or you're trying to get people to help you, to take you, go with you on this journey, what's, okay, we got to get down some mean old Mr. Math. Yes. How much does it cost to make this thing? What's the profit margin? And is there enough room for an investor to go along with you to make their money back if they give you that money? Yes, sir. At 10,000 units, we can... Uh, they charge us five dollars and fifty cents each. We're trying to market it for twenty nine bucks for each unit. I wouldn't try. You'll say you're marketing. We're going to market it at least twenty nine dollars. We're going to keep it in the range that everybody that's very affordable. And every person I've spoken to over the last two years, we need one. I need one. But well, what's your price point for QVC? QVC? Um, we're not sure yet. But I mean, we're going to, they're going to market twenty nine dollars each. Yeah, so QVC, I'm not sure about the details of QVC, how they want to be. Because, yeah. you know, your infomercial folks are 1995. Right, 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 right. Yes. But this device, and we got a Can you get that $5 cost down lower? With it's possible. With 10,000? I'm sorry. With more than 10,000? Yes, 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 yes. And I believe t more than 10,000 is needed. But 10,000 units is going to... I mean, they're going to fly off the shelf, right? They're going to fly off the shelf. This idea is very scalable, which is what Mr. Wonderful says on the Shark Tank. Uh, how scalable is your product? And is it affordable? But yes, we, we definitely look forward to selling millions and millions of devices. Yes, sir? How much money are you looking for? I'm looking for $68,000. For what? $68,000. For what? For 10,000 units. For how much so equity? For, what? for how much equity? You gotta say it, We're just you like gotta, that. Yeah, Boom. You, you gotta decide what you want. Yeah, you right. Gotta, you gotta, exactly. Yeah, you told me that before as well. You know, but um, equity. Um, mm, so I should just give you sixty-eight thousand, and we'll see. Yeah. No, sixty-eight thousand dollars, ten percent no. of the company. That's pretty good, right? Ten percent of a hundred million dollars is a lot. Yeah, but yeah, well, they're gonna ten percent with like you know short take. Yes. Fifty-one percent. But uh, <laughs> you know, so, but be prepared to throw that out. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, we're working on those numbers every day about you know depending on as the offer come. Yep. You know, predicting future numbers when you haven't had any sales yet. You know, new startups. So you have to rely on. You're gonna have to stand up there, sir, and be able to show confidence when you don't have it. I mean, yes, sir. You're gonna be able to look at, look at potential investors, say, I am looking for this, and I'm willing to give you this. And then yes. see how they respond. I'm looking for $68,000 and I want to give you 10% of the company. Okay, there you go. Then you have the negotiations. <laughs> negotiations are started. Yes, sir. And then you go back and forth, back and forth. Yes. Yeah. Yes, sir. So I know somebody is probably a good partner for you out of Utah. I'll share their information with you. Thank want. you. Thank you. Yeah, because you're, you need a distribution model. You can't make any money. I mean, HSN, they sell on HSN. They do like fifty to $60,000 a minute. And you, and you're 5,000 units, you're gonna last three minutes. Is that? Yeah, they're not gonna be interested in dealing with you. You, you need to get in somebody who has multiple SKUs because you can't get, a lot of these places, you gotta have multiple SKUs to get in there. So you okay. need that guy in the middle that's gonna help you bring the cost down. There's enough margin in the middle. Okay, well, we're looking for him too. I'll, I'll, send him a, I'll send him a screenshot of your thing and, and tell him to reach out to you. Thank you very much. Okay. Yes, yeah. sir. Do you have a patent on anything here? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. On patent for over a year now. On what? On utility patent. On the design? Yes, on the, on the design. Uh, looks like a good product, but what do you do about biological contamination? Well, we, the material that we're using, you know, should be a simple soap and water. You know, once a week when you clean the bathroom, which people got to do is to take the bat up and clean it, rinse it off, scrub it off a little bit and clean it. It's very simple. Uh, it only takes 12 hours to grow uh, bad bacteria. Somebody's been using it and it sits there and dries and starts growing. It has to be uh, decontaminated almost instantly. Okay, we'll make a note of that decontamination of the unit. Like a spray. A spray, right. Yeah, I've heard that microbial, whatever they call it. Sounds like that stuff that you wash your hands with. You know, the, the yeah. Bleach. yeah, I think you're a little early to market because you should be able to add something to that to keep an antibacterial. Yeah, spray. I, 
mean, you shouldn't have to service something. And a spray? Well, it should, it the should be a chemical in the, in the phone. Right, right, right. And maybe, yeah. you know, I'm not really sure, maybe they may be having that covered because I'm sure the, the team I'm working yeah, with. Yeah, before you make 5,000 units, you need to test that because you might have a huge issue. You, you ruin your brand coming out of the gate. Okay. I would never make 5,000. Okay. How big is that? Uh, how, how, do you say 5,000 is a home shopping network? Have you got a lock contract with them yet? Or are you yes. talking to them? You have a yes, contract? I have a contract with them. Like, when are you required to deliver on that contract? As soon as China gives them over here to us, and uh, we can have it open. It opens. Yes, you know, they, February they close for the month of February in China for the holidays. You know, the delay. They will teach you patience. You will learn patience when you deal with it. I would is interim. What you could do is is then uh, experiment with some uh, some uh, bacterial antibacterial spray or Definitely. something, and just do a saying, "Oh, is this how you keep it clean?" And do it with a spray. Definitely the version. Two, then you get into the antibacterial uh, foam and plastics and stuff. But right off the shoot, if you've got, you could, you could do an easy low hanging thing because simply as a, how many people worry about their bath mats? I, you know, they're you know, mm -hmm. nasty. I know that. But, uh, but if you say we're thinking about this, and this is what we've got right now, stay tuned for version two, which could be bigger and better, and you want to get this because you won't have to spray it as much. Awesome. And then you could either either partner with or recommend the ideal is, is establish a company that you can partner with and say I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna promote your stuff. Right. Until you get your own brand. Right, right. There are a few companies out there that definitely need to have us as their partner. Yeah. Life but, alert, you know, companies like that, you know. Like, right now Dr. You're Gavel, saying, absolutely. You be, yes. You could be uh, babies are us. My man is speaking for millions and millions of unborn babies who don't want their mommies to fall in the shower. Right. You got the slit thing and the clean feet thing. <laughs> yes, sir. Well, uh, I actually asked you that question before. The material, like I don't know what the material is. Right. And but the bath mats, like we have the non-slip bath mats already, they should be somewhat antibacterial if they are still around. Definitely. So if I don't know what your material is, but if you can research and find out that what that material is, that might help you. Absolutely. And Absolutely. the porosity of the surface is important. Like Absolutely. you know, it has to be a clean non-porous surface for the bacteria not to grow in it. Okay. And I'm also concerned about those pins. Like, what are the pins, you know, the, the, the one that goes... The bristles? Yeah. I mean, are they, how hard they are they? Yeah. Oh, I mean... How hard are they? I mean... Well, they're, 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 they're not too hard. They're going to be in between. they gotta be, they got to be strong enough that way where you can, Correct. you know, they got to do something. they got to clean. So they're bristles, you know what I mean? I mean, it's got to be soft. It's going to be soft, you know what I mean? Not anything um, rough or hard or anything. Can you step on it? Depends. No, you you are you know you go in between. Well, what, what happens when you step on it though? Well, it should be it should be the, the flexibility should be there. I mean, it's not going to be anything you're going to it's not going to snap off and step on it. But will it like poke you? Will it puncture your foot? No, no, no. It's going to be a soft bristles. You know, like most soft. folks, as long as your toes open properly and not webbed <laughs> feet, you should be fine. Webbed. <laughs> did, did you receive prototypes? From the manufacturer, or are you just receiving a shipment of five thousand? Yeah, we received, we, we received our um, our prototype um, mold about three weeks ago. Now we're waiting for the final sample to, to arrive. Okay, before the five thousand, absolutely. Okay. Um, on those spikes, there you need to have those medically evaluated because if somebody does step on them, if they're too hard, it'll cause nerve damage to the bottom. Of the yeah, they're not going to be hard. Okay. Well, I mean, they sh should be evaluated. They're yeah, definitely we'll, we'll evaluated. They're not going to be. You're going back to um, what these guys are saying about bacteria? Yes, sir. Uh, they make shower curtains that hang for months and months with no bacteria. So whatever that material is, it's like a vinyl. Right. I would think you can mold, shape, whatever. Exactly. So, you know, it, it's already happening. Just you need that material. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Yeah, definitely the key with that is going to be Check on that stuff. Mm -hmm. back, uh, bacteria resistance. Keep How big is this thing? It's like approximately both my feet on it. There's a little bit of a trim. Approximately 14. By fifteen seven, so it is a shower mat. It's not a you know it will it is to sit on your shower floor, but leave, you know so it can stay there. Not anything you know, but so for me, I got big feet, size twelve, so my, I'm on it. I didn't want to have it too big. But how did you that. how did you end up uh, getting uh, the home shopping network to buy in on this? I went to a conference in Pittsburgh, at the the Impex conference from Event Help in June, and I met Mark Portney, the number two guy at Home Shopping Network, and I showed him my video. And he said, I want you um, on the next series of Home Shopping Network, and he signed me up immediately. Wow. Okay. 
And that's Damon John's apartment from um, Shark Tank. Yeah, so you got, a, you got a validation right there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Has he explored uh, patent protection? Yes, sir. Yeah, you yeah. Oh, you said, you said that it, it is patent? Oh, yes, yes, yeah, we patent. Yeah, we're over here now. No, is, is that a provisional patent, or is that a fully, uh, or is that a fully provisional patent? Provisional. Oh, well, well provisional is only good for a year. Um, yeah, for, uh, provisional patents are nothing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You've got to convert it within a year. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're in the process of converting it. Yeah, we're definitely having a... Uh, an attorney working on okay. protecting this thing, and more and more every day. I gotta, you know, we're working on more and more protection for this product because it is definitely, um, we believe that it's definitely going to be a. Uh, so you, right, you can stand two feet on. It. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, I, I stand on it. I got about a, maybe a half an inch or an inch around it, around the edges. So my feet are huge. Your feet should be fine. Yes, ma'am. You were talking about like selling to universities and stuff, and they mentioned the shower curtains. Um, my first year at Tech, there was an outbreak of MRSA, and they found out it was from the sh it was on the shower curtain mm -hmm. in the gym. Mm -hmm. So if you're gonna like go after university, what is it, MRS? MRSA? MRSA. Okay, MRSA. Yeah, MRSA. you're gonna have to prove that absolutely no way is any bacterial infection or transfer of bacteria gonna come from that before they put it in the locker rooms. Because if right. you have athlete after athlete after athlete after athlete using that. Yeah, and that's well, my yeah. other question is how long will that last? Yeah, we definitely don't want to. We definitely don't want to have it to where it's used by everybody. You know what I mean? So they either have to try to. Uh, we have other versions we can come up with. You know what I mean? Individual, you know, but no, it's not uh, a community device. Okay, so it's not going to go in locker rooms or rec centers. It'll be available. So whether they want to buy it individually, like when I go to the YMCA, I have my own, and I'm going there and throwing it on the floor and shouting, "Hey, guy, what you got there? You can get one. You can't use mine." <laughs> I had a kid from ODU told me yesterday he fell in the shower last year and knocked his tooth out of his mouth. Yes. And I really found out recently about a lady who women who shower a lot and they, you know, the oils and that shower floor becomes a like ice skating rink. Right? Uh, uh, what, what suggestion maybe? Yes, sir. Since it's about cleanliness and safety. Yes, sir. But I hear the mat. You're barely on it. Why not make the mat a little wider? Yeah. Well, it is. So I mean, it's it's 15. I mean, does it fill the whole tub? Make a shower mat. Yeah, it's a mat has the Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty. It's 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 a nice size. You know, it's, it's, it, there won't be any problem with anybody. You know, um, I'm six five. You know, and if I, when I stand on it, it's plenty of space for me. Okay. What what's the patent on? The patent is on the the design. And the brushes, nobody's doing that. The no, it's people that make a shower mat right. can't do what? They can't do this. No, I mean, but that's a shower mat. In other words, if they make a shower mat that just happens to have some rough surface that I can rub my feet on, is right. that what you're protecting? Or is uh, it the pins that you're protecting? Definitely the brushes. Definitely the brushes. And the text, our device does the heel in, the rough surface of the feet. The massaging nub, so you know, your, 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 your dead skin cells and calcium, you're cleaning those, you're massaging the bottom of your foot, and you're cleaning, and you're doing three things in the shower in the morning with no hands and no risk of falling. You know, our biggest issue in here is basically falling in the shower. But I'm talking about, what is, in other words, if a shower mat manufacturer mm -hmm. happens to put a rough surface on his mat, at what point is he infringing on what you're protecting? I'm not exactly sure what he's doing, and uh, there are some other styles I've seen of uh, you know um, people who can shower mats for the shower, whatever. But I haven't seen anything like this. All right. This this is an example. I'm glad you're doing this. Is you've got these questions coming at you. Yes. You're going to be able to look somebody sure. again right in the eye. Absolutely. And with it. Oh, absolutely. I appreciate it. Have you, you tried a, any kind of a Kickstarter or anything campaign? We're going to. We're going to. You don't have any copy of your patent wording right now? No, I didn't bring it. That's something you need to keep with you all the time. Okay, okay. Copy the patent. Okay, yeah, I didn't know to bring it. Because your investor wants to know what is right. it that I'm buying Absolutely. that's protected that nobody else can come along and do? Because, again, the people that make shower mats, mm -hmm. yeah. you're, 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 stepping, you're stepping on their territory. Right. With the clean your feet device, we sure are. Well, not only are we still, we're going to cover theirs up and be on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> I have, I have uh, two questions or, or statements. Number one, uh, 
before you go on uh, Home Shopping Network, or before you do a Kickstarter, before too many people see this, you have to make sure that your intellectual property, your patent or whatnot, we are. Is, is definitely locked in before you show It's locked because in. you don't want a manufacturer right. sitting there watching on, on HSN and saying, well, let's let's go ahead and do this, especially since you're having this manufactured in China. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, the same, same, same. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but, but we, we are as protected right now as, as anyone can be. No, a no. provisional patent is not protected. Yeah, but I mean, I've, I've heard stories yeah, of people with patents, and you know what? Is that? Some people out here with products don't even have patents. You know what I mean? The problem with patents, and, and we're doing everything we can to make sure we're tight and we're secure. But if you get somebody knocks you off, they say the issue is basically is, is fighting a patent is the biggest issue that I've heard. You know, um, that's a true statement. But th again, this is giving you an example of what's going to have to come up. Oh yeah, definitely. Oh yeah, we're the patent. We're going to definitely. I'm talking about patent. Talking about anybody here. Many go, hey man, listen, I never know. And we assume watch this video, buddy. And we assume that the patent attorney is not cheap, so they should owe you like what? How protected am I? Exactly. 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 So I'll you can look and say, this is what's patent on this. Tell the investor so they can then decide if they're going to take the risk with you or not. Gotcha. Yes, sir. Yeah, just uh, once you roll off your tongue when somebody asks this question, is your claims. You probably make two or three unique claims that you're putting a lock on that nobody can copy. So when somebody asks you that question, you know, our claim is the number. Our claim is the surface that takes so in a particular way, and our claim is this. That's what people can't do without infringement. You say that, and then the conversation goes away. Okay, yeah. we'll make sure we get that new thing. Thanks, sir. Your patent, uh, no matter what it is, if this goes through the U.S. Patent Office, is only valid in the U.S. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Go to China, have the thing manufactured over there. They're open to steal it. Mm -hmm. oh, I heard, I heard all that, too. Unless you get an international patent. Even then, it's the China. National patent I mean, lawyers are very expensive. Look, I wouldn't care about the patent. I mean, it's first to market. You're going to get knocked off if it's a good exactly. patent. I don't see what you're patenting, except any patent attorneys will take some money and patent something. Exactly. Free. Whether or not it's defendable in the future, something like 70% of patents aren't oh, defendable yeah. in the end in the court system. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't give two shits about it. I'd get it to the market as fast as possible. But you better, to, you better make sure you get a prototype you should have brought one for everybody here that could have tested it, see if it's wide enough for everybody before you, you put a huge capital expense in this. You need to take a little bit of market feedback because you're a big guy. You might design it for you. The next person, Karen's not anywhere near as wide as you. She might like something different. So you need to find a happy medium. Yeah, well, I've got small people all around me. They're also biased. Take it to the market that's not biased. Right. You need to beta test it before you put it in production, and you make five thousand, and then you flop on QVC. Right, I understand. Because if you flop on QVC, you're done. Well, uh, I agree with you. Like, you need to test this. You need to five thousand is not a big amount. Right. And right. you know, it, you can it's afford it probably. I mean, do you, I don't know if you need this. Uh, you know, like, you don't need the sixty-eight thousand for this five thousand. I assume, right? No. Okay, so you have this 5,000, you get it, and now you test it. You sell it before you go to QVC. Yes. You let everybody try it. Let's see if those pin, you know, the brushes are going to break in a couple of weeks. Right. Because if they do, then you're in trouble because people are not going to believe in your product. They are going to return it to you. You are going to lose all your money. Right. So before you go big, you know, test it to that, you know, give oh, it absolutely. to your friends and go to like local places absolutely. a couple. Absolutely. Sell it and get the feedback. Absolutely. And then I would wait on that QVC maybe a couple months before. I say I'm ready. Okay. Yeah. So you haven't really tested, tested. No, I mean physically. Yeah. No. Uh, so you need to do that. Cause yeah. you don't know if there's suction cups you're going to take the weight stand. Yeah, I have to get it. To do, I have to. I have to have it in my hand to test it. So why don't you have a hundred? Why don't you have a hundred or fifty and not five thousand? A hundred, man. I'm it's sure. Like, enough to test because you're going to want to change. Well, they're going to send me some tests. Samples. Okay, we'll get the I'm not sure yet. Maybe five or ten. They're going to send me. We're not going to manufacture five thousand units without touching the device. Oh, well, so you got to say that. You got to we say our the, plan is. Yeah, we were under the impression that you are, have already. Um, yeah. You, you've already. No, 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 no. Contracted for five thousand. Yeah. Oh yeah, but I, but but, I, but I'm touching my first sample in about three weeks. My oh, first completed okay. prototype gotcha. sample will be in my hands in about three weeks. You got to paint that picture. Oh yeah, I thought I did. My bad. No. no. Yes, sir. 
Yeah, I agree with all these folks. You know, you know a whole lot about what you're doing. We don't know anything. Right. And so you got to lay it out step by step if you're telling somebody to give you a bunch of money. Yes, sir. The other question, one question I do have is, do you need both pins? Last time I looked, my big toes and all that. Are you're right. You're right. That's another version, you know what I mean? So there'll be some, we got some things coming down like so. Two pins are not necessary, so you could have one there. You know, so that's another variation. So yeah. Yes, ma'am. Well, I don't, I'm not sure if mine is a comment or a question, but as a consumer, my thought would have been when I looked at it initially, I didn't realize it was a mat. Now, it calls it a device, which is what it is. Yes. Because it's functional. Yes. However, I didn't realize it's a mat. Shout out, man. Yes, when man. I looked at it initially, it all it almost looked like something I would just, you know, literally put under door. one foot, which is fine. Right, right. If that's what it is. Mm -hmm. But if you put the dimensions on there somewhere okay. so we get a, uh, a realization of its size. Yes. Then we will know at that point it is possibly a match. Yes. But when I look at it as it is, it seems like something that I a literally put my heel on okay. yeah. and do it, and then I slide back and put my toes. Okay, yeah, the measurements on there could have been a, in the right. Or maybe right. illustration of a foot. Is when a bar, you get so. your first one in is, is mm -hmm. uh, photography and put it in a bathtub right. so people can see the proportion of oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the photo show an outline of two feet on it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good idea. So your, your video yeah. shows that right. this doesn't yeah. it didn't give the That's dimensions on the video. But in right. the conversation, I realized that it is a mat, mm -hmm. and it is enough, big enough for a person to stand Yeah, so I'll give me a good artist from going in and put those yeah. You're designed two feet on it. Yeah. Right. You might change that word device. No one buys device. People buy a format or a camera or whatever. But a device is a meaningless sort of meaningless word. Okay. Go ahead. And are those pins replaceable? You should sell this thing with four spare pins or something. We, we working on all, yeah, all those are oh, definitely yeah. things. Yeah, oh, yeah. We, we, we unrolled on all that now. Yes, sir. With your first 5,000, I would include a, a consumer survey card in it, mm -hmm. a postage page, so you get feedback from the people. Absolutely. Buy it. And that's a cheap way of doing it. Absolutely. That's a, good note. that's a good note. How do you get a contract without a price point? Because Mr. Mark Portney from the Home Shopping Network said that's what he wants to do. And so he saw the device, he saw what I had, showed him he liked it, and then he put me in contact with his, with his team, Mr. Bob Saracosta and the veterans up in um, Clearwater, Florida. And um, um, what's his name? Uh, Carmine Dominion. Carmine is my man, you know Carmine? I mean, business platform, they're the guys that's guiding me through this process. Okay, but in other words, you've got a contract, but there's no price point stated in the contract. The price point is stating that 5,000 units, $35,000. That's $7 a unit? Yeah, well, that's at 5,000, so the numbers that's are your high. your cost? Yes. Oh. So that's my cost. Okay, so in other words, there's no selling price point stipulated in the contract. Uh, no, no, not no, not not no. Yeah, so now we have to determine the price when we figure out. Yeah, but if you say you know, if, uh, what they're saying is you're going to deliver five thousand, they're going to give you thirty-five thousand for those. Right? Is that what's no, happening? Mm -hmm. That's his cost. Uh -huh. Order. Uh -huh. Five thousand. So cost is seven dollars. Yeah, see, they got to say the first break. They have two thousand units. You can get two thousand units at six eighty-five a unit for fifteen seven. Five thousand units. They give you a scale of how many you oh, want. You're talking about the manufacturer. Yeah, the manufacturer. Yeah. Well, I was talking about the, the home shopping network, uh, them setting the price point and how much of it's yours, how much it's theirs. Right. Yeah. So we 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 we're, we're days away from these. We're going to be having these numbers locked down very very soon with them. As they, but like I said, the process of getting the getting the getting me a I want a quality product first and foremost. Because see, without a quality product. All that is in this mute. So until the manufacturer delivers to me what I've designed and what I have in mind for this mat, for this device, you know, what I mean? then once we touch it, then we can really nail down exactly what, how we can price it. You know, what I mean, what kind of quality is it? You know, what I mean, so, so we got, we got. That's what a lot of people we talk to, Walmart, everybody we talk to. And until they see it, until they touch it, it's not real. Yes, ma'am. Um, one thing I would consider. I don't know if you have a lawyer or not, but you say no more. Falling, straining, bending, or slipping. What if I'm using your mat and I fall and slip? Yeah, we've heard that too, so we're going to have to deal I with that. Wanna helps eliminate. Yeah, that's what we always, that's why I said on the thing, it helps in the fight against. We don't yeah. cure, we're not yeah. solving, we're helping in the fight against. I would not advertise yeah. no more falling. Well, if I, put a, if, if I put a shower, one, if I get one and I like it on my shower floor, I'm not falling no more. But I'm saying is what you're saying is you could change it a little later. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely, definitely, definitely. That's just a, you know, Mr. Print, you know, 
Help prevent. You know, help yeah. prevent. Yeah, helps in the fight against. Oh, absolutely. Help prevent, and it, oh, yeah. it, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't take yeah. care. Because 600,000 people a year are going to the hospital, I mean, per day, from, from, from falling in the bathroom. 81% is in the shower, 20% is by the toilet. So how do you fall and hurt yourself on the toilet, but I mean, those are injuries. I'm not going to buy that because I'm not going to slip. Right. I'm going to buy it because I want clean feet. Yes. So I think maybe you flip it. Yeah. It's about cleaning your feet. Yes. The other idea I have is I use these little brushes between my teeth. Uh -huh. And the number one thing I hate about them is they work for about two days and right. they wear out. So my suggestion might be, to someone else's point, one brush that's a really good brush. Right. And also it's replaceable. Yeah, because yeah. that brush is going to wear out quickly, whereas the mat probably will get longer service than, yes. say, the little brush. As soon as that brush fails, that's the big part of the toe jam that exactly. we're talking about. Exactly. So, so we are definitely I'll focus on, a little more on that brush. Yeah, definitely. I, I got a model where you know we, they screw in and replace them. That's definitely all a part of it. In fact, I might want one that I replace every day. Exactly. I Especially if you got a husband and wife in the house, you know what I mean? She don't want to have a toe jam yeah. on her brush. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, so definitely. We, 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 we have those designs working on too, so we. I, I actually, I, so I agree with the you know replaceable brushes. I actually like the idea of two, simply because if I'm sitting there and one feels like it's worn out, right. I don't want to sit there and have to replace it in the middle of my Me shower. <laughs> so I just want so to I would, I, I just, one, go to the back. We want to have one cheap. brush, two brushes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Duck feet, yeah. wet feet. We don't care. That after, <laughs> that after aftermarket sale. Yeah. To, that. Because you can sell. More, you buy a set of two brushes, and then if you buy five of them, you give me a deal. And you got this little revenue coming in. Absolutely. It's, uh, Absolutely. Extends the life of the product, and then your pad wears out, and you got these brushes, so you got to buy a new pad. Exactly. And it also keeps, keeps going. the customer connected with you. Yeah. Absolutely. So, we 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 so when you yeah. have products that you upsell, you've got them. You've got a connection. With yes, you. yes, yes, yes. So I got a few variations and products. That, uh, yes, sir. I think you can sell on Facebook just as well as Home Shopping Network. Yes, you can target exactly Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Everybody we talk to at work, people that say the fun is it. Everybody, hey, you know what? I need one of them. I, yeah. all, I failed this morning. Mm -hmm. I almost failed this morning, and I do it every day. And men don't, men don't, men, men don't do it in the shop. <laughs> but I, I definitely also agree with the, you know, kind of flipping it. Yeah, it's great that it may help you from falling, but the selling point is I need clean feet. feet. I Absolutely. don't want athletes' feet. A younger person isn't going to necessarily think about the right, feet. right, right. Those are the things that we that we have on the, yeah. on, the, on, the, on our brochures and everything. But those questions they're asking, um, you know, other folks, you know, like I said, on the other side. And I think it's a very, I'm going to chime in. I think it's a very good idea flipping the marketing even on the, your, your banners, you just really keep hitting it with clean your feet. Yes. Oh, you know, really. by the way, in addition to that, this could help you prevent falling and all that. Okay. I wouldn't move it forward because you're selling a clean your feet product, okay. not a anti-slip. Right. 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 Yeah, because people have already got an anti-slip product probably right. called Batman. Got Batman called Batman. The only, the only thing is that people recognize the problem of slipping in the shower, and as you're pointing out, most people don't recognize the problem of clean not having clean feet. I agree with yeah. that. Yeah. If you flip your marketing, you may lose your... Control. It depends. I said, I've, got, I've got people, you know, how, you know, how many of you can do, they buy those pumice stones to work on the feet and everything else? I, I think there's some. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah. Now, now, my one thing is, is if I'm a mom, yes. And I've got four boys, let's say. Yes. And I want to make sure they have clean feet because they're disgusting. <laughs> and they all share the same shower. No, we've got to clean your feet juniors also. Right. But what I'm saying kids. is can multiple people use the same one? Absolutely. Because I don't want to have one for David, one for Matt, one for Junior, whatever. Right. Yeah, not for public use, but yeah, a family. As long as somebody, you know, you're cleaning it every couple of days, it's, it's going to be very easy to work with. And you might want to look into trying to make one for public use because college locker rooms are now. Oh, we are definitely looking at that idea. Oceanfront, the beach, off the beach in the that. sand, yeah. all the spigots, you know, you want to have one. I have no idea idea for product change. Uh -huh. now, this is going to add some cost, so I'm just throwing out the idea. Okay. You're talking about clean feet, right? Uh -huh. Well, I want the whole surface of my foot clean, and if I'm not flat-footed, I have an arch. Right. So you might need a little bubble or something. Uh -huh. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And people get pedicures every day, right? And uh, they do not clean in between their toes at a pedicure. You pay 60 bucks for a pedicure, professional pedicure. You go in, and they do not clean in between the toes. No one wants to go there. This is good. <laughs> 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 We're going to sit this in their, in their soap buckets. Yeah, but they 
at the spa. But yeah, they, 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 they do not they do not go in between. I watch professional on YouTube doing pedicures in doctor's uniform. Yeah, not going in between the toes. Yes, sir. Yeah, assuming you can get this up and off the ground, if you can get, to, there's a whole industry that does physical therapy for people. And if you go to the hospital crowd, there are thousands of people a day that are tripping and falling and they have all these safety rules in hospitals. If you could go to some organizations, medical organizations, and get a, an official endorsement of your product to help in eliminating this, Absolutely. that would help you sell your stuff. Absolutely. I've got application to become a medical device is $4,000. I've got numerous doctors and buddies and men who want to endorse the product. But yeah, we're definitely talking to the medical field. I talk to women every day who work in the, um, the rehab centers with elderly folks, and they said, this right here could do a lot of good things for me and my patients. You know, elderly people, injured people, whatever, in rehab centers or whatever like that. It gives them some independence. You know, you give people the opportunity to take care of themselves a little bit more, they feel better about themselves. So to be able to go into the shower as an elderly individual, whatever, whatever, and be able to at least do something for yourself, it, it builds their self-esteem. Yes, sir. Is the heel massaging area like a porous rubber sponge? No, it's more like a pumice stone type. It's a rough surface so you can, you know, so it's, I mean, it's not like a rubber, like, like a sponge. Not a sponge, no, no, no. It doesn't it's, contain it's water or something. No, it does not, it does not. It's a, it's a rough surface look, so you can like scrub a little bit of that dead skin off the bottom of the like foot. Those, like, and the heel, like those puddles. Yeah, that's what it is. So it's three, basically three different things you're doing to your foot on this device. Yes, sir. All these folks seen here, most of them have got a lot more experience than I do in actually selling products in the commercial world. Mm -hmm. There's two different kinds of customers, though, what I'm thinking of. One's the investor crowd, and one is the real consumers. Your pitch today to us was a consumer pitch. Okay. If you're going to be talking to these investors, that, that bit about you've already talked to doctors, medical, yes. you know, all that part, that needs to be part and parcel and a big point to the investors. Okay. Because they, they're looking for why is it the customer. They don't care. They just want to sell stuff. Absolutely. Right? So yeah, they're we, gonna, we, 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 know, we, know, we got six minutes. On, I got we, didn't, we didn't have a single slide that showed anything financial about the business. And so it, Numbers. Yeah, it yeah. didn't show right. anything about what it costs, what the distribution costs are, what the projected growth is. It didn't show anything that okay. the investor would so, And that's important. Yeah. And you can you can even break it down. You're in the beginning stage of trying to figure this mm -hmm. out. If I make 2000 if I make 5000 if I make 10000 this is the cost breakdown. Right. And you know, what I'd like to retail this for. And so then people can just look right at that chart. Right. And you don't even have to explain a whole lot. Okay, yeah, we'll do a slide. Yeah, we'll do a slide for that. One thing that has a future forecast of what the numbers are. When people bring something new out, they feel they have to convince people the emotional, exactly. that exactly. it's good, it works, and people are going to buy it. Yes. That's like the first three minutes of your presentation. Right. Right. The next three minutes is this is how you're going to make your money, and then in the end, yeah, you, have money, to, yeah, yeah, you, have yes. Yes. you have to ask for what you want. Right. Yes, sir. I'm just looking at the math. Like you said, five fifty six dollars is your cost. Well, depending on how many we order. So five thousand units. Five thousand units will be like six fifty a unit. Six fifty. Well, uh, then you are going to sell this. Like they say, if you are selling it for thirty dollars retail. Then you are selling it about fifteen dollars per per unit to them to the retailer. Okay. If you are not using a distributor, right. if you are put, have a distributor in the middle, your cost is probably not more than. I mean, your sales price is not going to be more than ten dollars. So if you do this first direct, directly through QVC, and then you sell all of it, you are going to make, have about forty-five thousand dollars. Why are you looking for an investor? Because we want more units. Well, you, I mean, with that forty-five thousand, you can order a lot more, and you know, just keep on going. I mean, yeah, we're gonna definitely roll back. <coughs> but what I want, I want, I want ten thousand units. I want five thousand for the home shop on that work, and I need five thousand and a half in rows. I've prepared this city for the last two years with my device, and I've got thousands of people waiting for this device to come to Hampton Roads. I don't want to go to wait. I don't want to go there, sell everything out there, and then come here with a check and no devices to my homeland. Yes, sir. Yeah, I think what Ron's getting at is that got people that are very interested in it, people want to back you on that, but you have not validated if they're going to buy it and at what price. 
and that's where before you start thinking 10,000 units, mm -hmm. they're thinking about some sort of limited sales, see if the customer buy it, you know, it's whatever price, and see what you get on returns, the testing, customer survey, and all that. So there is a, it's the issue of validating. I mean, really, now it's a big thumbs up that you got the home shopping network. Right. That, that you can leverage that one. Right. But you got to get the feel of the customers, get the feel of the oh, some yeah. of the other retailers, and be concerned that if you do go out home shopping network, but if you start cutting deals with any other large retailer that's international, they will take this idea from you because they'll get you in a contract you cannot fulfill, and they'll grab the idea. They'll take it. Besides the idea, like, you know, uh, you can, if you go to Walmart right now, you are going to pay shelf fees and all that stuff. Oh, yeah, all so you first have to, like, you have a good connection with QVC, you go with them, you test your market if, if it sells. A lot of people do it with Kickstarter. When they go Kickstarter, if, you know, there's a lot of demand for it, they know that their product is valid. Right. People are interested. Right. Well, QVC is going to show you that. And after that, start selling on Amazon, Etsy, and all that stuff online. Yes. If you have enough sales, then retailers will come to you and there you or when you call them or when you send them an email at least you are gonna they are gonna look at your email because right. they get thousands of those every day Absolutely. and we're gonna have the sales so if you when you have the sales then you can show them your history of sales we're gonna have the sales and then you can you can actually probably prevent some of the fees or higher uh, or lower cost to them basically lower sales price for you you can change that to your advantage you can kind of dictate your term, not dictate, Walmart is going to buy absolute minimum. So before going to Walmart, you have to go to small like uh, oh, yeah, Kroger yeah. or, you know, CSV oh, yeah, yeah. or Walgreens problem. and all that. Absolutely. Because if you go big and if it fails, you fail. Oh, yeah, we're not, we're, I've, had all the, I've had all the Walmart, Walmart nightmares and everything that they talk about in the process and everything else. So we, we definitely got a lot of other things that we were, we're not, Walmart is not like our focus. Uh, you get a big operation, sales operation like uh, Amazon or Walmart to go in with a, a semi-partnership with you, then you know, it gives you a little bit of protection and uses their, they uh, help uh, sell it for you. Because uh, if you go in with one company and uh, you uh, don't, can't keep providing that product, then like you said, they'll try to steal it. Right. Well, they'll try, they will. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Okay. They get it manufactured any cheaper than you can. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Yes, sir. And also the other way to raise money is if you have a uh, invoice, like let's say you have an order from a retailer yeah. or QVC, uh -huh. it's say I want twenty thousand of them. Then you can go to the bank. There's you know a local bank, you know town bank it does a lot of oh, business yeah. deal, deals like this. You go to them, you say I have an invoice, and I want a loan, and they will loan you for a very minimal price. It's not like a business using loan. Using the inventory as collateral. Basically, you don't have a risk because you have an invoice in your hand. Hey, since you're looking at trade financing, have you contacted XM Bank? XM Bank? Yeah, EXIM. E -X -I -M. Or they have an event, I think it's uh, soon, next six weeks in DC. They do trade financing. They're the, they're the government's bank, they'll trade finance. But that's for import export, right? Import export. But if he's importing from China, he wouldn't have to pay the vendors until it lands in the port here. So it would carry your trade for two months. It would, it would greatly reduce your trade financing. But you look, yeah. and the rest. 5,000 is nowhere near enough. If you do an order, you have to do a large order because you're taking 60 days to get from China to here and then in the ports or whatever. You need a large enough order to replenish your supply because on a 5,000 order, you're only making 40 grand. What are you going to flip? You, you do a large number on HSN. They're going to ask for it again in a month. And soon they're ready to hire some foot servers. <laughs> yeah, the Russians might not hold up the camera. <laughs> Trump gets a bad dream. I know, yeah. I agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. Ten bucks, I, I don't even know, know if I'd sell brushes. I would leave it where they wear out in a year. And no, people make them replace them back. What can one million cups do for you? One million cups has given me an opportunity to come here today and pitch to all you guys and get beat up. Now we can. <laughs> it was, feels good. It feels so good. It lets me know that we are definitely on our way. We're on the right track, and we appreciate the information so much. Me and Wendy are going to take this information, and we're going to go cook it in a minute. 
and make sure we really appreciate that you guys, you know, are here for us. I hope all new inventors in the area come out and get this opportunity because it's always been awesome. Wow. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much.